Good morning, visitors. The vessel that you see departing is the Bay Como. The Bay Como was built in 2013 in Yangsu, China. She measures 740 feet in length, 78 feet in width, and 48 feet in depth. She's powered by a single 10,700 horsepower, six cylinder, man diesel engine, which gives her a top speed of 13 knots or about 15 miles per hour. She's also equipped with bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Bay Como has 25 hatches on her deck, which open into five cargo holds located below deck. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 37,700 tons. Above her deck, that thing that kind of looks like a crane is a 250 foot self unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Bay Como is owned and operated by Canada Steamship Lines of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. The Bay Como is the last of four Trillium class vessels. <laughs> short that you just heard is known as the captain salute a traditional salutation between vessels and the bridge the bay como is the last of four trillium class vessels built for canada steamship lines this class was designed with uh, excuse me to focus on maximum fuel efficiency minimum environmental impact and overall operation efficiency these vessels are 5% more fuel efficient than previous CSL vessels, which saves 827 tons of fuel and reduces carbon emissions by 2,600 tons. After she was built in China, she took two months of sailing to cross the Pacific through the Panama Canal and up the Atlantic to reach the Great Lakes. The Bay Como is departing today after discharging salt at Hallett 8 in Superior, and they're now on their way to Silver Bay to load iron ore pellets at North Shore Mining. Once again, we have the Bay Como, built in 2013, Measuring 740 feet in length, departing today on her way to Silver Bay.